If you're really keen on a specific area, try leafleting. We've typed out these leaflets for Che and Karina. Make them short, to the point, include a telephone number and don't mention a figure. I'm going to go off and bung these through the doors in Lower Largo and see if it gets us anywhere. Sometimes a bit of local knowledge can find you a winner. And I've just been told that this ground floor flat is coming onto the market very soon for around £40,000. It's got two bedrooms, a huge garden and bags of potential. And although we can't view it just now, Kirsty and I thought we'd check it out. If, as in Che and Karina's case, you think your family might grow, then look for property which can grow with it. The thing is, it's cheaper to build than it is to buy. With a budget of £70,000, Che and Karina could blow £30,000, turning this into their dream home. A quick and easy way of establishing the likelihood of getting planning permission for an extension is to get yourself in the garden and see what the neighbours have done. If they've already extended, the chances are you'll be able to do something similar. If this flat were mine, here's what I'd do. I'd extend onto it big time. I'd bring this entire section right out and it would come all the way back down here so you'd be tying up with this wall here. Here there'd be these big windows which opened up into the garden. Not only would you be doubling your living space but adding value as well. And if you were to clear this, you'd have the most spectacular open view. It's got a good scope for extension, I think, actually. Mm. Is that something you'd be prepared to take on? Um, I, don't, I don't think, I don't so. think it's suitable for us, to be no. honest. So, right town but wrong house. Maybe Lower Largo isn't such a deal breaker after all. It's got to be the traditional villa or stone built cottage. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're really looking yeah. for. We'd live in the right place somewhere else, but we wouldn't live in the wrong place. You're the wrong house in the right village, if you see what I mean. Mm. Right, no, I see what you mean completely. So we're back on the road again. Our final property is just 15 minutes down the road from Lower Largo, in the village of St Monans, and it's twice the size of anything we've looked at so far. We're now in St Monans to show Che and Karina this semi-detached villa. There's bags of space and there's even a sea view. It's on the market and offers over £68,500. And it's my favourite, so let's go and check it out. <laughs> Come in. It's a bit of a maze, because mm. I know mm. there's a labyrinth of doors. Mm. There's a lot of space, mm. and you've got to work out how you're going to arrange it. Mm. This is the best bit. You've got to come and look at this garden and this view. Great. It's everything that a seaside town view should be. Yeah. It's fantastic, yeah? It's oh, really yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Corinna, how important is the view? I want to wake up every day and open the window and let the sea air in. So that would be pretty much perfect? It's ideal. Yeah. The whole sort of package is, <laughs> is looking quite good. OK. Now, this is not the door that we came out of, you'll notice. Yeah. This seems to be a second kitchen, but mm. I think, in fact, it's a laundry room. Right. Moving on up. This is nice. Mm -hmm. The view just expands yeah. the higher you so get up. Fantastic. And you can spend hours in here yeah. just sitting yeah. gazing out yeah. the window, really, you know. OK, the interior could do with a bit of character building, but there's tons of potential for improvement. It's the kind of space they could grow into as their family grows up, and the surprises keep on coming. All this space for £68,000. What a bargain! It's really quite rare to see original mm. corner sing mm. like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. People tended, when they built the house, to put the features, the most expensive features, on the ground floor, and as you came higher, yeah. there was less care because the guests and visitors yeah. didn't come up here. Yeah. But they've built this with real care. It's a fantastically built mm -hmm. house, real sense of yeah. solidity about sure. it. Yeah. Yes. So have we got it right this time? Mm -hmm. They're still not sure. I like the idea of sitting out there and having your breakfast looking out over the water. Yeah. But... It's possibly too big. We've spent two days looking for the perfect home for Che and Karina, and we reckon we've got two strong contenders. They liked Union Place in Anstruther at £57,000, and the house in St Monans for £68,000 had space in abundance, as well as that longed-for sea view. Now that they've had a night to think on it, which one will it be? Well, you know why we're here? We do, yeah. yes. Do you have a favourite? We yeah, do. we do, mm -hmm. yeah. Number one is Anstruther, Union Place. Yeah. Right. So it's time to second view Union Place. 
While Che and Karina weigh it up, Kirsty and I are going to give it a thorough going over. God, I've been so looking forward to coming back. Yeah, nice too. You just walk in and it's got that same feeling. This flat looks beautifully maintained, but how thorough have they been? One of the things I want to have a look at is the condition of the fuse box. When I first looked at this, I thought, uh-uh, old fuse box. Turns out, on closer inspection, that this isn't the case. These are new push-button circuit breakers rather than wired fuses. And all the wiring here, here and here going into the meter is brand new. Things aren't always what they seem. The thing about this room is it seems smaller than it is. It's yeah. a bit misleading because there's that huge cupboard over there. Sure. There's no need for this. It's already three inches away from the wall as it is. This chest of drawers won't be here. That chest, again, is quite big. If you had Ailey's bed along this wall yeah. Yeah. in the opposite direction to what it is now, mm -hmm. you'd have tons of floor space, which is the main thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, I think she'd love it here. I mean, it has got mm -hmm. lots of floor space and uh, plenty of room for everything she's got yeah. Yeah, and yeah. more, because she'll accumulate tons more, yeah, I think, as she goes. Yeah. So, yeah, we need the space. Yeah. Now's a good time to do a bit more of a recce on that field. I'll tell you one thing. This field does bother me and what it could be used for in the future. I've got to find out some more. Time for a quick chat with the owner of the field. I'm just trying to find out a bit more about this field out the back there. I have nothing planned at the moment, but if somebody comes up with a good offer, who knows? With a sale on the owner's mind, I need to get some more information from the local planning office. Well, that was interesting. I've just come off the phone to the planning department and although they say there never has been an application for development in the field, seeing as it's already surrounded by houses, any future application would be seriously considered. I think long term, that field will be houses. So it's back on the phone and this time I'm checking whether the trees are protected. If you're worried about potential building work destroying trees and as a result your privacy, you can apply to the council for a tree preservation order. All you have to do is prove that the trees enrich your life, and this goes even for trees that are on the developer's land. The process can be completed in a day if the application is of an urgent nature, and it's only a phone call away. So what do our couple think now? Yeah, I mean, I can certainly picture us here, and I can certainly picture yes. us here with Ailey. Mm -hmm. It's just a couple of the practical problems are yeah. we have to go through in our, our minds and try and see if we can, yeah. if it's worth Bearing them for the really lovely house. Yeah. Yeah. And the good thing is that it's spot on as far as their budget's concerned. Mm -hmm. It's on the market for offers over 57,500. They were really looking forward to coming back, yeah. weren't they? I really like it. I still really like it, mm -hmm. but I still have my reservations. Yeah, it's still got the same great feeling about it yeah. as it did yesterday. That hasn't changed. Again, it's a beautiful sunny day, so mm -hmm. it's so bright this house and yeah. got a real warmth to it. That hasn't changed, but Again, the location hasn't changed either and the distance uh, it is from family and, and such like. Yeah. That's the only problem we have with the place, I think. Do you think they'll buy it? Well, if I was a betting man, I'd say they would. But we'll have to wait and see. We've been hunting for three days to try and find the perfect home for Che and Karina. Although we're 20 minutes up the road from their dream location, we think we might have found them exactly what they're looking for and with cash to spare. Will they go for it, or is 20 minutes, 20 minutes too far? We do know what we want now, and <coughs> you've found it for us, you know? And those, the points you made about the, the development at the back and the trees, mm -hmm. are ones we would never have thought of no, in a thousand years. Never. We would never have even thought to check what the field was going to be used for. It wouldn't have entered our heads, so, <laughs> I mean, you really, really <laughs> helped us out. It's a complicated enough decision-making process, and there's so many factors to consider. Are you confident enough now or not to put in a note of interest? I think we need to discuss that because I think we're kind of thinking along those lines. Mm -hmm. We might put a note of interest in and then at least we'll be informed of mm. any developments. Mm -hmm. We You've don't want to yeah. Yeah. leave it too much to chance. I think it's just a matter of now taking those last couple of steps for us um, to discuss just whether we should put our money where our mouth is yeah. or hold on and wait for the, the right place, the house mm -hmm. like that somewhere else. Yeah, if yeah. that flat was in Low Largo, we'd buy it tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, definitely. 
It's over to Che and Karina now to weigh up the pros and cons of the right house in not quite the right location. If they do decide not to go for it, at least we'll have helped them to realise that Lower Largo really is the most important thing on their list.